Starsha, and right now in my workshop I have a pretty cool old machine. This thing right here that looks like a piece of old furniture is actually the world's oldest commercially available drum machine. Now it was made in 1959 by the Wurlitzer Company and back then they called it a percussive rhythm device and its full name is the Wurlitzer Sideman 5000. Now, I got this guy, I found it in a basement in Hamburg, and when I got it, it was dirty, hadn't been played in a while, and some of the part, it sounded a bit crappy, and some of the buttons didn't work too. So over the past few months, I've been restoring it, and just getting to know it in general, and it's a pretty fascinating machine. So traditionally, a sideman is a human, and they're a versatile musician that's hired to play alongside a solo performer. According to the patent that was filed for this machine in 1961, Sideman was produced as an economical alternative to hiring a musician. And uh, Wurlitzer was particularly interested in appealing to people who um, were playing the electronic organ because that was one of their big sellers at the time. Now, even though Sideman weighs a ton, like I can't pick this thing up on my own, it was considered portable by uh, the standards in the 1950s. Obviously, things have changed a lot. So the idea was that the um, musician, the organ player, could uh, roll up to their, to their gig at a nightclub or at a bar and drag old Sideman out and be accompanied by it instead of having to hire um, a drum player. But nowadays, drum machines are like just a standard piece of equipment used by DJs, electronic musicians, or solo performers that you know want to bring the party but don't have the means to invite other people to come and play with them too. Like any good hired musician, Sideman can play a range of popular music at a variety of different tempos, so it can play things fast or slow. When uh, that Sideman was being used, uh, it was generating all the all the popular. Um, uh, ballroom dance uh, tunes of the era. Um, so why don't I give you an idea of what that sounds like finally. So I'll turn on Sideman. Whoops. Takes a little time to warm up. So right now we're listening to Rumba, which is my favorite. I can speed it up. And we have cha cha, tango. Oh, wait. I can play along with the little push buttons here. Um, special feature we have a metronome, so we can just count it out. There's also a little light here that glows. We can see what's going on. Sometimes it stops. It's not always uh, perfectly on beat because it's a bit of an old machine. Um, we got some boring stuff like the waltz and uh, some other deal called Western, which I can't quite get down to. What's funny though is if we put it on Foxtrot and we speed it up, it kind of sounds like weird grandpa techno. can stop the rhythm altogether and just play the push buttons. Pretty cool, huh? But to be quite honest, people, that's about as deep as I'm going to get into the music business stuff. Because for me, as a super geek that I am, I think that the real party is going on inside the machine. So get ready, because I'm about to show you the spectacular guts of Sideman. I'm going to need the help of my assistant here, Daniel, Daniel Stiegler, who is a specialist of obsolete technology. I can't take this thing off by myself because it's ridiculously heavy. So go and make sure to be careful because we don't want anything to get into the way. Or, and move it off to the side here. Thank you, Daniel. So, uh, behold, the inner workings of Sideman 5000.